Hi, we're in New York right now. Cole's working on our video and we just wanted to pop in, talk about this one for a minute. We're in the breezeway of a Dunkin' Donuts currently. Yeah. So that's that. We'll make it snappy. We really love Jackson's Island so much so that we stayed for several days and we use it as like a point of resetting. So this is kind of going to be delivered to you as a, a blur, but yeah. hopefully you enjoy all of our shenanigans along the way while staying there. Yeah, we had been traveling quite a bit and we just needed a time to sit, be in the same place for a while. So it was really refreshing for us. Yeah, and by traveling a lot, that's like we'd only been like 10 days on the road or something at that point. Yeah. I think we had slept at a different spot like pretty much every night yeah. up until that point though. So it was all Monica just knocked over the wet floor sign. It's all good. It was also the last free campground that we really came across going easternly uh, in the United States. Easternly. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Uh, there's a gentleman that's going to be exiting. Thank you for coming to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> he was not wow, amused. He had no sense of humor. Currently, we're in New York, and this vlog is in Tennessee, so obviously these are backlogged. We'll be heading briefly into Canada and then circling back to Michigan, and from there, we'll be starting to head west uh, and south to hit Colorado. So <laughs> we really haven't gotten together with any bus lifers. So if you're interested in collaborating or, you know, exploring and you're going to be towards the west side of the country in some way, shape or form, we would love to hear from you. So hit us up in the comments or direct message us and hopefully we can hang. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. That's a flat area off by itself. We could back into there. This is like the funniest part. It's like everyone's just enjoying nice peace and quiet and we've got this backup alarm here. So I'm gonna have to do some uh, trash picking up here. Yeah. People just left their garbage everywhere. Yeah, but I wanna disgusting. know where the Taco Bell is because <laughs> It doesn't look that great from the video, but are you ready to try the spring guacamole? Monica always makes the best guacamole, so I don't give a shit what it looks like. It tastes really good always. All right, we're losing batteries to go try it faster. We gotta do this again. Oh God. Yeah, good. Right? Mm -hmm. Like really good. Yeah, it's just like chili powder and everything. It's great. I put garlic powder, chili powder, salsa and lime juice. Salsa is pretty salty. I usually add salt if I only add like a little bit of some sort of mild salsa, but super good. Um, yeah. Sometimes I chop up onion and put it in there, but I really didn't want to make onion smell in here right now. It's hot. So we decided that we're going to stay here for two nights. So tonight and tomorrow for sure. Or a week. Or a week. Just did a lot of activities today. I did a ton of driving. I'm really sore. My left shoulder like really starts to hurt after driving for even over an hour. Um, so Monica said she was going to give me a massage tonight. So there's that. Did I say that? Yeah, you, you said that. You did. Oh. She said that. We're probably going to have a pretty uneventful evening tonight just because we're both so tired. Uh, so we'll probably end up seeing you in the morning. Day two. So I went around and picked up the garbage. I got a whole bag of it. So I just wanted to capture this on camera real quick. We, <laughs> I woke up and I was just like, I had two Let's phones. Let's organize the bus. Yeah. And this, this is what it looks like this when is... Cole organizes. <laughs> I love you for trying, but... Well, Monica really wants breakfast. And... It is three hours past my breakfast time. Oh my god, it's almost 11? Yeah. It's crazy. My stomach... A look. <laughs> She's dying. Yeah. So, but we've been on a mission to find the keys to this lock so I could throw away her other three locks. Because it's the lock I want to use for my gym uh, locker. 
So also there's a mess, there's mess up here. Here's all our jackets. There's no meth up here. This is the hammock we're gonna set up today. We decided to take all of, did you find them? Oh my God, this is amazing. We're gonna put these coats in storage because God knows we don't need a coat right now. And uh, we put some shoes we use often down at the bottom and we're gonna try to figure out what to put on these hooks that's more reasonable that we use all the time. And this is just giveaways. We're making a big pile of giveaways today. Ugh. It's getting you, better. The face that you made at me when you saw it, though, was pretty... Do you think your tattoo will peel off? No, I don't. We think we got the hammock figured out. Step number two. Yeah, Cole was sitting on the ground the first time. I'm sorry I didn't catch it for you guys. He was about four inches from the floor. Oh, little creaky. I'm nervous. <laughs> Good. I think you can fit. Me? It holds up to 330 pounds. I'm 220. I'm 140. That's fine. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? You feel like safe in there? A little cocoon? Yeah. Do you really want a pillow, a blanket, anything? Pillow. Pillow. <laughs> Much success. My life is real nice. All right, so we just did a scooter ride. And then we talked to a guy just parked down the road from here. Yeah, we stumbled upon him and we were like, he had a little gypsy truck, as he called it. And, uh, you know, walked up, he just got done with a phone call, and sure enough, he has two broke limbs. And he had been drinking whiskey all day, so he was having a hard time talking, but he yeah. invited <laughs> us to stay. Cole had a drink with him. And yeah, funny. I had two drinks with him. Thank you, Mark. Yo, this sandwich is lit. Avocado, hummus, Cold mayonnaise, tomato, cucumber, turkey. Got that monster. Ooh. Yeah, that sandwich avocado, is not lit. Avocado, tomato, munster, cucumber, mayo, sriracha. I feel like this is that episode of Spongebob when he's going through the Krabby Patty <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> bun, then patty, followed by ketchup, mustard, pickles, extra onions, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, and bun. Do you want to tell them what tonight is? It's movie night. And lucky for me. Cole has a really good taste in movies. Yeah, it's my DVD stack. Wait, is it my turn? No. You picked Nacho Libre. But... Oh, <laughs> shit. I think it's my turn. Are you serious? I think so. Oh, no, you picked Wedding Crashers. Oh, damn it. Yeah, okay. we watched Wedding Crashers. You're right. Suck it. Wedding Crashers was not as good as I remember it being. Hey, Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? Chaz, I think I'm okay. I, I had a bite right before I came over. Monica gets the last LaCroix. I get a beer. And we're gonna watch Little Miss Sunshine. Day three. What's on the agenda today? Shower outside. Yeah, Monica says she stinks. My armpits are starting to smell. Wow, what is going on here? The hair that I do have doesn't even cooperate. <laughs> we are doing some cleaning up this morning because we are going to film our official bus tour. So this place is looking a lot better than what it previously looked like. Oh yeah. Monica and I managed to clean up the whole entire bus in preparation for the bus tour video. And now we're gonna make a mess because we have to eat lunch because we're hungry. Yeah, we're so hungry. So we don't have any firewood around, which when you have firewood, you can burn cardboard and shit. And so now we just kind of have a lot of extra trash since we don't have a fire going right now. I got my hand gimbal set up for the first time today. Super excited about it. We ventured to a laundromat this morning. I guess we left that open. Really? I guess so. The lid's still there, thank goodness. 
So we found there was a dumpster at our campground, so we got rid of trash. We needed to fill up on diesel before leaving tomorrow, and we definitely need to do laundry for the first time. So we're out in front of a laundromat, and we'll see how weird it is. This is what 10 days of laundry looks like. Very sweated out laundry. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be nice to have clean pants. Though I still have clothes left, you know, we just want to do clothes while we're somewhere. Yeah. Monica's getting the laundry detergent out. We don't expect this to be like a high tech laundry facility and we're kind of short on dollar bills and coins, but we only have two loads of laundry, so we hope we have enough. I went to Piggly Pool. Oh. You went to Wiggly Piggly? I went to Wiggly Piggly. Mm -hmm. Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly. I got eggs and bread. And some LaCroix. Mm. So I put those in the fridge. Nice. Just changing my thing, seeing better days. It was broke at one point. Basically, we're doing these two washers here, which costs $2.50 for the super cycle. It's only 25 cents more. Where these are like industrial washers. Yes, commercial washers. You can fit up to like four loads in one, and this is only $4.50 or $4. So we could have saved, what, a dollar? And then this back wall is all drying and it starts at 50 cents. So I don't know if you have to put more money in if it's not dry at the end of it or if it's only 50 cents to dry. It seems like too good of a deal. So Monica came inside to inform me that the ice cream man is at our campground. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're just waiting for him. Did he have yeah. music? Yeah. Oh, he's got music and shit. Let's go. Drumsticks. Let's get one of everything. What'd you get? A drumstick, and it's got like Oreo instead of nuts and chocolate ice cream. I had to try a snow cone because ice is a privilege around here. You got two. I've loved these things since I was a kid, these strawberry shortcakes. I know you love those. It's such a weird... You don't like them? No. It's like, if that was like the last option, I'd probably just be like, nah, I don't want anything. Oh, I love them. The next day. We've just been hanging out this afternoon. I've been sourcing through all the footage from our bus tour that we filmed yesterday. And, uh, you know, the plan was just to stay this evening but I feel like I could have our bus tour video completed if we stayed one more day which I think that's uh pushing our stay to like it feels like we've been here for a week but it really has been great but yeah I'm definitely looking forward to hitting the road again yeah there's always just the uncertainties of where you're going to be camping next and what it's going to be like though every place that we have stayed at has been enjoyable even when we stayed at walmart parking lots i've still enjoyed myself but this has been really nice i think the weather break just not being 90 has been a big part of that too super excited we have really good news right now um i emailed harvest hosts and initially i just asked them if they allowed um schoolie vehicles, uh, conversions, whatnot, and they got back to me and they were like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And so then I emailed them back and I was like, okay, well, by the way, we just hit 2,100 followers on Instagram and I know that a lot of people have a hard time, you know, figuring out where to park and whatnot. So I asked if they'd be interested in doing a deal where we just promote them and get a free yearly membership 
We got it. <laughs> you pumped? She's so good. I am super proud of myself right now. We just saved ourselves 80 bucks. Yeah, it's dope. I mean, you get to stay at like wineries and distilleries and shit. Like, yeah, this is gonna be super cool. Some of my favorite things. I just got a whole bunch of dirt in the bus, but I did it for you. Kill you. Because everyone wants to see Monica shower anyways. This is a cool eating evening. I mean, we had a uh, ice cream and snow cone and yeah. had multiple LaCroix. Even broke a into- Long Island iced tea. Yeah, Long Island iced tea and a brew and now a cold solar shower on top of a lake swim. Feel good. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, Cole's washing his junk. This looking is, away. This is the uh, Bonner's. Is it Dr. Bonner? Yeah. It's the peppermint kind. And it Bronner's. Bronner? Yeah. Because you keep calling Dr. Bonner. Yeah, I call it Dr. Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wash those. Rinse your back. You got some bubbles on your back. Okay, I'm going to have to go to the backside anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. We're making grilled cheese and tomato soup. Yes. And Cole really wanted to go to that Pizza Hut shell subway that we saw earlier. I said I'd but, drive the scooter there. And listen, not gonna lie, Pizza Hut is like one of my top three pizzas. <laughs> but we just have a lot of food here. I don't wanna spend money on that. Also, the amount of time we were out doing laundry didn't seem to be enough time to recharge our solar panels. We are sitting at like 12.1 right now. Yeah, maybe I'll turn the lights off. <laughs> it's not the lights. I mean, it's well, just... I it's, mean, it's everything though, for it, real. We're at 12.2, so that's good. I was just gonna do a side... Jesus Christ. Excuse me. I'm cooking here. Excuse me, I'm cooking here. This is why I wear a hat, because I look like this without a hat. You really don't want to go below 11.6 volts is what I'm understanding. And that's 20% efficiency of your battery. And that's actually lower than what most people would recommend, which is you don't want to go below 50. And right now we're at 50% uh, battery currently at 12 volts. So when your battery is full, it'll say like 12.8, 12.7 and when it is dead it will read like 10.5 volts so it's not zero volts that you're bringing your battery down to listen desperate times desperate measures i don't want to turn on that water pump right now so we're eating soup out of the pot i'll give you spoons i guess but <laughs> you just eat it one drop at a time doing a little sriracha sriracha grilled cheese is where it's at it's pretty hot. <laughs> oh, oh, she's adorable. <laughs> Tomorrow. We uh, moved spots today because we were just too shaded and we weren't getting enough sun. And uh, our solar system just hasn't really been able to recharge properly. If we're staying around the Smokies, which we intend to, we've got like a week of cloudy slash rainy weather ahead of us here. It seems like we've had to really get our bus in the sun every other day with our solar system, but we haven't had to like abruptly shut down everything we have for any particular reason yet. So yeah, I'm gonna go take a dip in the water and maybe Monica will get a shot of me on this side of the lake because it's beautiful. My hat's a little extra. Are you just now noticing that? No, I've known, but it's a lot. It really keeps me nice and shaded, though. <laughs> Whoa. That's a lot of hair. What? Is Monica in there popping up a cold brewski? Yeah, dude. Saw. Monica and I are gonna take a quick walk around the campground here. 
see if we can't find anyone that has recently moved on and left a little wood behind. I'd really like to have a campfire this evening, but there's just no wood around. Uh. This is our final morning here at Jackson Island. And I just asked Monica how many days have we been here, and both of us have lost track of that count. I think we're at five nights and six days or something like that. It's a free campground, as we've mentioned previously. And, uh, you know, there's been a number of people here at times, but right now there's definitely dwindled numbers of individuals around us at least. And uh, the water's just been really beautiful. The breeze has been great. The weather has been calm. We haven't mentioned it too much, but there is a lot of litter at this campground. You can tell that there's some individuals that just don't think it's necessary for them to pick up their trash or put it in the trash bins and dumpsters that this campground has actually graciously provided for everyone. You know, just remember, leave no trace and uh, try to do your part to clean up others mess because someone has to. In the process of making coffee, trying to clean up this bus a bit before we hit the road, it's funny we had this whole entire place completely cleaned up for our bus tour only two days ago. <laughs> <laughs>